dear students today i will explain the front panel of cro what are the different knobs you have in cro and how to use them and what is the use of uh, each knob and uh, that i will explain today okay so initially uh, this is your cro uh, this is a power button you should switch on the power first okay so after switching on the power there uh, the horizontal line we will get so first you should adjust this horizontal line to the base level x axis to adjust this we have a knob this is for channel 1 use this position to adjust the line on x axis this is vertical adjustment and this is horizontal adjustment uh, here we should select the mode so in which mode we are using whether we are connecting our <coughs> CRO probe to channel 1 or channel 2 or dual or add there are four modes we, uh, are there we should choose any one of them so what are channel 1 channel 1 uh, it represents the first input channel of a CRO channel 1 is the first input channel of CRO CH2 stands for channel 2 it represents the second input channel of CRO next is a dual dual option option allows you to view both the channels channel 1 and channel 2 simultaneously on the oscilloscope it splits the screen into two sections with one section showing waveform from CH1 and with other section showing waveform from CH2 mm -hmm. Where are you? Okay, this dual mode is useful for comparing and analyzing the signals simultaneously. This is about dual 2. Last one is add option. The add option combines the signal from both channel 1 and channel 2 and displays their algebraic sum on the oscilloscope screen. This mode is useful when you want to add two signals together to observe their combined effect. This is intensity knob. The intensity controls the adjustment, uh, control and adjust the brightness or intensity of the electron beam. Just check here. If I increase this, see the intensity is increasing. So to adjust the intensity, we use this mode. And this creates a trace on the screen by increasing or decreasing the intensity you can make the waveform or signal on the screen more visible or a less visible this is more visible if I turn on the left side this is less visible so you can make the waveform either more visible or a less visible you can F F O C U S. this is focus now this uh, control is used to adjust the sharpness or, or the focus of the electron beam on the screen. A properly focused trace ensures that the waveform or signal is clear and easy to read. See, highly focused or less focused. The focusing is done with the help of this knob. This is horizontal position knob. It allows you to horizontally shift the waveform on the screen. By turning the knob, you can move the waveform left or right along with the horizontal axis. I will show you here. By turning this knob, see here, you can move the line either right, right side or towards left side. This is vertical position. There are two vertical positions. One vertical position for channel 1 and another vertical position for channel 2. So, this vertical position knob enables you to vertically shift the waveform on the screen. By rotating the knob, you can move the waveform up or down along vertical axis. I will show you here. You can move up or down if you keep your knob in channel 1. If you keep your knob in channel 2, you can move the line up or down with the help of vertical position knob. This is trigger level 
knob. This determines the point at which CRO starts capturing and displaying the waveform on the screen. The trigger level is important for achieving a stable and synchronized display on the waveform. This, there are two options here. One is calibration and another one is a variable. So, uh, if you press inside, the bottom function will be selected. If your knob is outside, the upper function will be selected. Now, I will explain what is CAL. CAL stands for calibration. The calibration option is used for calibration purposes. Calibration involves adjusting parameters such as voltage gain, frequency response, time-based accuracy, etc. to match a known reference standards. Now, if I press this button inside, the variable function gets selected. This VAR refers to variable control. It allows you to adjust the sensitivity or scale of vertical axis on CRO display. There are two functions X1 and X5. So, the, these two refers for a attenuation. X1 is attenuation. X1 attenuation when probe is set to this X1 attenuation, the CRO measures voltage directly without any attenuation. This means that the voltage displayed on the oscilloscope, uh, oscilloscope screen corresponds directly to the voltage being measured at the probe tip. XY attenuation, when the probe is set to XY attenuation, when you press it, XY is selected. When you remove, X1 is selected. So, when the probe is set to XY attenuation, voltage measured is attenuated by a factor of 5. In this mode, the CRO divides the measure voltage by 5 before displaying it on the screen. By using XY attenuation mode, you can measure higher voltage without causing damage to the oscilloscope. There are two options, slope, positive slope and a negative slope. This is use, useful when you want to observe a rising edge or a positive transition of the waveform. The positive slope is useful when you want to observe rising edge. The negative slope is useful when you want to observe falling edge or the negative transition of the waveform. Okay, there is trigger source here. Four options are there. Vertical, channel 1, EXT, line. What are these things? I will tell you. VERT, vertical trigger source. VERT stands for vertical trigger source. With VERT trigger source, the oscilloscope triggers based on specific voltage level on the vertical axis. You can adjust the trigger level using vertical position control knob. And CRO will trigger when the waveform crosses this voltage threshold. CH1, this is channel 1 trigger source, the second position, channel 1 trigger source. When CH1 trigger source is selected, the oscilloscope dis, uh, triggers based on the waveform displayed on the channel 1. The oscilloscope will trigger when the waveform on channel 1 crosses the voltage threshold. Next is EXT. External trigger source. It allows you to trigger oscilloscope using external trigger source connected to the oscilloscope. This can be useful when you want to synchronize oscilloscope display with external signal. And the last one is line trigger source. Line trigger source synchronizes the oscilloscope with AC power line frequency. It triggers the oscilloscope display based on zero crossing of AC power line. So, that is AC power line voltage. So, this is um, channel 1 uh, point where you will connect your CRO probe. So, either you can connect T connector or a CRO probe. So, today I have I am using T connector which has got positive and a ground terminal. So, in the same way, for the channel 2 also, you can connect the CRO probe or 
द टी कनेक्ट इफ यू आर यूजिंग चानल टू यू हेव टू सेलेक्ट द पोजिशन दैट इज चानल टू इफ यू आर यूजिंग चानल वन कनेक्ट युवर प्रोब टू चानल वन सो इफ यू आर यूजिंग चानल वन यू कैन एडजस्ट द ओल्ड पर डिविजन विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस नॉब सो इफ यू आर कीप युअर नॉब एट वन then the whatever the output voltage you will get from the cro that should be multiplied with 1 because here multiplying factor is 1 if you keep your knob at 2 so how much voltage the, you, uh, you will get from the uh, screen that should be multiplied with 2 because you are keeping your knob at 2 volts per division you have to count the divisions and multiply the division by so this is for channel 1 in the same way channel 2 again you can adjust the knob to 1 2 5 10 anything so whatever the voltage you will get from the screen that should be multiplied with this multiplying factor with the help of these two you can adjust the amplitude of the waveform with the help of this knob that is called as time per division it is here written time per division you can adjust the frequency so you can rotate this to adjust the frequency so how to add, uh, get the frequency count the time period from the uh, sorry measure the time period from the waveform which is displayed on the screen and multiply that with the uh, set um, set value here i have set to 1 millisecond so you multiply the time with 1 millisecond you will get the total time period then take the uh, uh, reciprocal of that we will get the frequency so this is old time per division knob and these two are volts per division knob so now i will show you how to check the cro probe whether it is in good condition or a, a working or not so see here i have connected t connector this is positive and this is ground the positive of the cro probe or the t connector you connect it to at just 0.5 volts peak to peak here there is one notch you connect here okay as soon as i connect to adjustment 0.5 volts and, and negative to ground so i will get this square waveform okay and this square waveform you count the division it has completely covered one unit so one unit into 0.5 so uh, how much i am getting it is 0.5 volts if i am getting such type of waveform then the we say that the cro probe is in working condition so when we switch on the uh, cro we should get this horizontal line it should be a straight line if it is if i get some slant line or some slope is there if it is not straight line then with the help of trace rotation using screw screw driver you can adjust this line and make the line as a horizontal line okay now you connect one cro probe to channel 1 and another cro probe to channel 2 channel 1 you give it to one signal generator and adjust the sine wave in that signal generator and uh, channel 2 you also connect to uh, uh, another signal generator and again um, choose sine wave form and both both probes you are connecting to two different signal generator then adjust this time per division knob to the xy mode so on the screen uh, we should get lissajous pattern this is all about uh, front panel uh, indicators of uh, uh, cathode ray oscilloscope uh, thank you sode uh, aishwarya uh, fifth sem e and c department for helping me to conduct this experiment